So YouTube uh, is making another change uh, to their platform in order to appease advertisers. Now, uh, this goes back, of course, to uh, Adpocalypse. You guys remember when uh, they found a couple of ads running on some actually very questionable uh, videos and things like hate videos, etc. And everybody flipped out. All the advertisers pulled out. I remember that is because that's uh, when my revenue and the revenue of so many other independent creators went to complete crap. Uh, and by the way, it has not recovered. We still don't make as much as we used to. Um, now, one of the changes that YouTube has tried to make, uh, is one of many, uh, is they're thinking of adding a link to a, a Wikipedia article to some of the videos uh, that happen to be conspiracy theory videos. Now, that's one of the things, of course, uh, that's in response to the recent uh, conspiracy be uh, videos about the Parkland uh, shooters, the survivors. Oh, they're they're crisis actors. They're they're actually faking it. Nobody actually got shot in there. They're just uh, trying to do a false flag operation so they can take our guns. So that's basically um, the gist of, of some of these videos. A lot of them, of course, is by Alex Jones, uh, who used to do that pretty much at every shooting, every school shooting. Oh, it's a false flag. They're crisis actors. They're trying to take our guns. This time, Parkland was different because eh, Parkland survivors uh, pushed back, uh, especially David Hogg. Uh, he was one of the people that was featured in one of Jones's videos. So he pushed back against that. And, of course, the advertisers were also getting sick and tired of Alex Jones' shit. Now, look, I I'm one who does not agree with censorship. So I didn't agree with them completely pulling down uh, the videos. Yeah, I guess if you want to demonetize those types of videos that attack other people, okay, that's absolutely fine. That's acceptable. But banning channels, closing them down, I actually don't agree. So that's why this change actually is okay, uh, in my opinion. Oh, you want to do a conspiracy video? Okay, that's fine. Well, let's just put a Wikipedia article that debunks your conspiracy theory right next to the video. Here you go. I think that's a, actually a, 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 non, a pretty good non-censorship solution to uh, these you know, conspiracy videos. Now, what's funny is that uh, YouTube, <clears throat> and it's been shown by a study, actually the way that their algorithm works is that like, you look up something, for example, you look at the part of the shooting, and it could be a video that basically explains it, and then suggested videos start linking you to more and more extreme content. Uh, by extreme, I mean like, Things like you start getting into, in, into conspiracy videos and that further leads you down the rabbit hole, so to speak. Like you get, keep getting recommended more extreme content. So that's a problem with the algorithm, right? <clears throat> that's not necessarily a problem with the creators. Uh, nonetheless, I, I do think that they need to work on that algorithm. Um, and look, I got my own problems with the algorithm uh, a lot of us independent creators who actually don't do conspiracy videos, who actually go through and we break down the news and we try to give you the facts, we're being treated a lot like conspiracy, uh, uh, the conspiracy, you know, video makers. Um, and I got some examples about that. Uh, we uh, get deranked in the algorithm. We don't show up in suggested videos hardly anymore. Um, a lot of our notifications no longer go out to subscribers and things like that. We're no longer suggested. Uh, we get demonetized. A lot of our videos get demonetized now. Um, Secular Talk famously talked about being on a blacklist, like a secret blacklist. And he found out, like, no, 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 you're not actually not on the blacklist, uh, Secular Talk. No, you're on the blacklist where you literally got served no ads. Even though your videos were monetized, you weren't getting ads. And now, of course, what we're in, and a lot of us creators are facing this today, we're getting shittier ads. Uh, we're getting like the second, third tier ads, um, which are worth far less. Obviously, that, that has a huge impact on channel revenue and actually trying to make a, a, a living off these channels. And so what has happened uh, since then, of course, because that's you know, basically Adpocalypse 
uh, and in the follow-up to it, um, the algorithm has been changed to basically favor more establishment sources as opposed to independent media. And and and, and I mean independent not just because, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't just mean left uh, mean left wing media, uh, which is independent as well, but also right wing sites. Uh, right-wing uh, content creators are also getting uh, crushed here by the same changes as left-wing uh, content creators. So look, and look, these people that are, that are uh, both on the left and right, not all of them create conspiracy theory videos. Some of them will just have like a right-wing perspective. I happen to think that their perspective is wrong. That doesn't mean that they should get demonetized or, or, or deranked or anything like that. Just like I don't think that Progressive content, in uh, which is where I, you know where I fall into, should also face that. We shouldn't, but that's what's going on here. So this change about Wikipedia articles, that's great. If they were to do nothing else, if they were to roll back all the other stuff that they did, as far as you know, deranking and demonetization and stuff like that, and just kept this, wonderful, great. This is a change that I can actually get behind. Now, some of you might think, but yeah, Wikipedia? Can't Wikipedia be edited by anybody? Yeah, actually, that's true. Now, for those of you who are worried about that, uh, YouTube on Wednesday said the links will include other third-party sources besides Wikipedia. Now, depending on the sources and what videos they target with this, again, this could be a good idea. Now, again, if we could stop there and only post links debunking crazy stuff, like the false flag shootings as Sandy Hook or the pig gorilla hybrids or, you know, all the stuff about... It's the devil, okay? And, and the, it is an alien force, not of this world. It, no, no. Like, just put an article, debunk that stuff, that's fine. If we just stop there, if we stop there, great. Now, with anything, unfortunately, there is that concern that this could go a little bit further. I mean, look, you go back to 2016, for example, during the primary. Now, there's an, a, a narrative from the establishment that, no, you Bernie bros, you're making it up. We didn't actually rig the election towards uh, Hillary Clinton. We didn't rig the nomination. No, forget about the super delegates, you know, that were saying, oh, we got so many super delegates on our side. You're never going to win, Bernie. You're never going to win. Look at all the super delegates we have. It's already over. It's already over. So don't even uh, bother voting for Bernie Sanders in the primary. Uh, or Debbie Wasserman Schultz uh, putting her whole hand, body, whatever, uh, on the scale as evidenced by uh, um, Donna Brazile's book uh, that had come out where she's like, yeah, we basically rigged the primary against Bernie Sanders, and she, of course, walked that language back. But nonetheless, uh, that's exactly what they did. And, and I did numerous videos um, showing the different ways in which they did uh, rig the primary against Bernie Sanders and for uh, Hillary Clinton. Now, the establishment could come out and said, well, we have these links that say that, no, uh, that didn't actually happen. We didn't rig the primary at all. No, it was completely 100% fair. And Wikipedia or some other source could, you know, be put into videos that try to point that out. Because, oh, no, you, you leftists, you're just being a conspiracy theorist now. Uh, it was completely fair, 100% fair. And your guy, Bernie, he, he had the, the same chance as Hillary Clinton, and he lost. Sad, because people don't want a socialist. No, that's not true. That's not true. So that's one of the problems that I could see with this, one of the potential problems that I could see. But look, if they only did that, to be fair, uh, and nothing else, and they roll back the demonetization, the deranking, and all that stuff, uh, and, and, and all the stuff about Adpocalypse, I would actually take that in return, to be honest with you, because what we're facing right now is, is disastrous. And look, I, I've lost a lot of views i lost a lot of revenue and it's not just because it's no longer an election year yes of course videos uh, uh channels get huge enormous bumps during election years i certainly uh got mine uh but 2017 wasn't an election year is actually my best year ever when it came to views but then at the end of 20 uh or uh 
beginning of 2018, the end of 2017, they made some of these changes. And now it's not just me. It's Secular Talk. It's Humanist Report. Uh, they tweeted about this. Views and, and revenue down the toilet. And it's not just from people tuning out. Because they would have tuned out in 2017 as well. So, and it's all of this because uh, of the de uh, deranking uh, and, and all the other things that algorithm changes that they use to try to drive views to other different places. And it's amazing to think that with just a couple of changes uh, in a few lines of code that you could essentially crush specific genres uh, and channels, news and politics, um, and, other, and, and elevate other types of channels uh, in that same way. But th that's what they can do. And that's exactly what we're facing right now. So that, look, this is why it's more important than ever to support independent progressive media. And, and I'm talking things like on, on Patreon, of course, um, that's, that's huge. Uh, we get a lot of, um, I believe we get a third of our income from uh, Patreon. I want to get that to where that is our main source of revenue is from you guys, the, the you know, patrons. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That is the, look, that's the only way that we're going to beat this is if we stop relying on YouTube to be the majority of our funding. So, you know, I, I'm proud of the people who support the show and I thank you so, so much for, for doing so. Uh, but we've got to get off of just relying on YouTube. And, and by the way, I know I'm going to get the comments. I'm also on Steemit. So, yes, we are there as well. And, and we're trying to diversify and we're trying to do what we can. Because right now, the YouTube changes, they're impacting all of us. And it's making it very, very difficult for people to be able to be independent creators and still be able to make a living from it. So... And that's a way to shut down independent news uh, because they don't like it because we challenge the authority. We, we challenge the establishment and we challenge their narratives and uh, they don't like that. So if they can shut us down by a war of attrition and making sure that we don't have the funding to be able to do the show. Well, then that's a pretty effective way of shutting down the opposition. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.